Hey everyone, today we'll be showing you how to build the cheapest grow tent setup ever. I feel like anyone with a little bit of money can now build a pretty decent indoor grow setup, especially with products available on the market like the plant kits that can remove the guesswork from what tools you need to buy, and things like this is what I would normally recommend new growers, since you can usually make back the cost of the supplies pretty quickly. But there are also a number of people that don't have a couple of hundred dollars to pay up front for a whole traditional grow tent system. So for those people, I'm always looking for a way to build the cheapest setup possible. Whether that be just a closet setup with some light bulbs, a cardboard box setup, or a makeshift grow tent setup, which I'll be showcasing today. And this is the cheapest grow tent I was able to find, the IKEA VUKU wardrobe. When I first bought this, it was only $13, but unfortunately, the price has been hiked up to $15 as of the time this video is released. Oh no, it's inflation. And since this is sold by IKEA, the caveat here is that you need to be located somewhere near in IKEA or where IKEA delivers to. But if you have access to it, there's a couple of things here about this tent that made me really excited when I first saw it. First of all, the flooring is this tarp material that's pretty waterproof. I mean, it's thin enough that I wouldn't trust it from preventing a flood of water from leaking out, but it definitely can contain small water spills. There's also these vents near the back floor of the tent, which work perfectly as an intake vent, and while the bars holding up the entire tent are flexible, when installed, they're able to support a ton of weight on the main hanging bar. I honestly can put more weight on this bar than any 2x2 two two grow tent ceiling bar without it budging at all. All the exposed steel pieces are protected from humidity, with the bar itself being powder coated and the connection pieces being galvanized steel. I mean, obviously there are some hurdles that need to be crossed. First of all, without a proper exhaust vent, one will either need to be cut into the top of the tent, or the top of the tent doors will need to be kept open at all times with a fan blowing air out of the top, which is what I opted for. Plus, utilizing a clip fan as the exhaust kept things super cheap. This of course isn't very practical for most grow tents because of the huge amount of light leak it can produce, but of course, that doesn't matter if the entire tent wall is a huge light leak. So you're going to have to either enclose the entire tent with a light proof layer, utilize the tent in an area of complete darkness during the night cycles like a closet, or the easiest solution, just grow auto flowers in this tent. Now to round out the rest of the supplies I need, I'm adding another clip fan to provide airflow to the plants, and for the grow light, I'll be testing out a brand new ultra budget option I've been dying to try, which is this 140 watt garage LED light. These lights are LEDs, but plug into a standard light bulb socket, meaning that all you need to get this to work is a single socket plug. And I have no idea how this is possible, but these LED lights are beyond cheap. Like, I got this one for $15 during a sale, and they can normally be found anywhere between $15 to $25 for 140 watts of LED lighting. Obviously, I'm not expecting these to blow me away in terms of efficiency, but at this price, this is the best bang for your buck 
in the ultra budget category. And that's it for the core products. I added a power strip which hangs on the side of the tent thanks to these side hanging hooks and a mechanical timer to automatically turn the lights on and off. And bam, a fully functional grow tent for auto flowers under 100 bucks. The biggest drawback here is that there isn't a way to scrub the smells from the tent. So if that's something you need, you'll need to swap out the exhaust clip fan for an inline fan and carbon filter setup. Set it outside of the tent and either cut a 4 inch hole on the top side of the tent to duck the exhaust air out through it or just close the tent door on the ducting. But even then, this is way cheaper than any traditional grow tent setup and by the time you get tired of having a super bright night light, you can always upgrade to a normal grow tent, move all the existing parts over and not feel too bad about ditching the wardrobe since it was super cheap anyways, plus it can still be repurposed to become a space to dry your plants. So yeah, we'll be covering a seed to harvest grow next time with this specific ultra budget setup to see just how well it does in practice. But for today, that's it.